Hello everyone and welcome back to Efraín Rodríguez Jr. show. Today we have very important news, important opinion. I'm going to start with the saddest one because uh, today something happened. Uh, they lost the witness, the star witness in the case for Macho Camacho. He is buried in the Bronx, and I know because uh, a friend of mine buried the husband like four uh, spaces down from him. So I, I been in, in his burial site. So for me to be here today and talking about uh, Macho Camacho and all this that it just happened, it, it's part of me knowing at least where his body is laying on the ground. So. And the spokesperson newspaper in the island of Puerto Rico. Oh, almost forgot. Subscribe to the channel. Please don't like this until you hear the whole thing. And after you hear the whole thing, if you like it, then you hit like. They help us with the algorithm. And just comment. Uh, whatever you want to comment on here also helps for the, you know, because we are growing. So this is just starting in this year. So it's the only way that this can grow in YouTube. The persecutor office is left without a star witness in the case for the death of Macho Camacho. He got on the plane and traveled to some destination unknown to persecutors. The case of murder for the former war boxing champion Hector Macho Camacho and his friend Adriana Alberto Jamil Mojica Moreno, which occurred in 12, 2012, in Bayamón took an unexpected turn today, Wednesday, after the a public ministry stayed without his star witness, who what was due to testify today. I don't know. My my father, rest in peace. He was so smart. He said, "I don't want you to become a cop or FBI." I love, I love that it's service. I love. I love service. I love service. And, and, and probably that was one of the things that inclined me when I was a little kid and growing in uh, middle school and high school. That was the goal. The only thing I did was army. So at least <clears throat> I did that part for four years and he was not really that happy. But when I see all this, I'm like asking myself, did these people know and see movies lately? Like, what you gonna do? Cops or any FBI movie or star witness related. At least uh, me that I remember those movies, I would uh, take that guy and just put two, two guys with him and hey, protect this guy because this is related to murder. So we don't know if something's going to happen to him or not. He's the star witness. This is a 2012. It's going to be more than 10 years already. 2022, 2012, 20 years, 10 years. This is, come on. This is, this should be like an easy whoopsie doopsie and take it there. And he's, but now he's disappeared. He's gone. I don't know. We don't know. We will never know. This is so ridiculous that this just happened. I feel kind of upset and, and I'm like, but is that upset you? And this, I remember this day. I, I, it was, it was sad. I just, I just can't, I, I just can't take it. You know, having this happen like this. But if that didn't was part of what you really love to hear. So let's just hear what the administration and the United States of America is doing about tariff. In the newspaper first hour, the United States considered reducing tariff to China to fighting inflation. U.S. 
Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen say certain reduction in tariffs may be warranted. Please don't get kickbacks because you look back if you get any kickbacks out of those reductions to help push prices down. Call me moron. I don't understand this. I don't. We are fighting a war that not having physically people in there like army, you know, airborns, you know, the whole nine yards. Marines, Navy, Air Force. Well, we don't. We don't. And please. Don't go crazy on that. Biden. We just send billions of dollars to a war that we're not even part of, but we are helping someone to get guns to protect themselves. But here you have this mentality of, you know, people cannot have the AR 15s because, you know, it's a weapon of, you know, deadly weapon. And the last time I checked, even a 22, if you hit it in the right spot, it can really kill you. A 22, Sadly, killed one of my uncles in New York a long time ago. It was sad, but it did happen. And it was just a lucky shot because it was the bullet was 22. And the guy was just running and, and just farting back. And, and my uncle was crazy because he was just trying to get them. Believe me, it happens. So. What are we doing? We're broke. We are and declining. Like, like the storm is coming. And now this woman is telling us that we're just going to lift up the tariff that President Trump did on 2017 to 2020. Like, that is a smart move. I'll tell you. I don't know where you guys get these people because it's not smart at all, especially when you have so many, but you know, you're printing money. You had the printing machines. So you guys going crazy on this. You guys lost the North. You guys really need to step down and let people, the big boys, do the job because you guys ruin United States of America as it is right now. This administration want us to be on our knees pretty much to beg for help. And this is another proof of doing that. Sad, but it is happened right in front of our own eyes. And the last, this is uh, one of the survivors from Ubalde. I know that I haven't really talked about Ubalde tragedy here that much. And whatever I do here, I just send through all my different Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. When I see this, I'm like, whoa, this is, you know, it's tough. But there was one word that it motivates me to come and talk about this. And don't, don't really, it, it wasn't my word, but it's this girl's word. So let's just read this. Uh, and also I was just listening to day to day as a uh, show in Telemundo, I believe it is. And they were talking about the Second Amendment and the guns. And, and, and if you don't know something, please, please do not speak about that. If you don't know, you really look like a fools. I mean, I, I know you, all of you are comedians. It's fine. You know, that's fine. So actually, it goes with what are you doing? But trying to talk something serious about this and say all the things that you guys said at the end of the show of today. 6 8 2022 that was bad but let's uh read what the newspaper indy uh new day 
had to say on the title was I want security. Listen to that more girl of 11 years. A Latina girl sold Bible of Ubalde school shooting the man of Congress. Mia Cerrillo described the nightmare she experienced the day of the massacre. Washington. Mia Cerrillo, an 11 years old girl who survived the school shooting in Ubalde, Texas, called on Congress Wednesday for safety. Safety and described the nightmare of that day when she had to cover herself with a friend's blood to get dead to get dead and save her life you know pass as dead to save her life it, 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 she's i mean she's smart she's a survivor she always will be a survivor when you react to a situation like that you know we that was in the service in the army and you hear gun shitting in the range, so many guns at the same time. It can be very, you know, disturbing the first time. I should mind. I was kind of, I shake uh, my niche. You know, I was, <laughs> first time was bad. But then I smell of the powder and then I got used to it. And then, thank God, I passed my test of the, with my rifle. But when I listened to this little girl talking about safety, when I listened to Biden the other night talking about, hey, you know, gun controls, more rules, most of them, they already assist. And we can go back and forward in this. But what I want to say and be the end of that is the show of New Day, Dia Dia, if you guys want to add something as part of the of the research that I just did, the final moment of that show show the lack of knowledge and why the existence of the Second Amendment in the in our United States of America and the Constitution is in the Constitution. So it's sad to see that because. It's not prime time, but it's, you know, it's right there, you know, TV. And if I, if I hear it, other people are going to hear it. And, and they don't, they don't say the right, the right reason why is the second amendment is part of the constitution. They don't, they don't, they don't know it. And, and that's sad. You see, when you're in front of TV, at least I'm in front of this, that you're probably going to see it on your telephone later on and, or on your TV. And I'm not going to sit here to try to tell you. I, my English could be maybe 80, 80%. Give it a take. It's, I'm not going to say something that I'm going to try to look very dummy, dummy, dummy. Because I already got people telling me, if you're going to talk about something, please stay on topic. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'm learning. I'm doing this. I just started this year. But man, you guys. You guys really screwed up, went up big time. And we got to applaud this young lady that it really called for something that is more understanding than just gun control. Because, you know, throughout history, we have a president that been shot. And what they do, they get more security. And look at Ukraine. They're getting invaded by uh, the Russian and what they get? No weapons to defend themselves. So they they need to get a defend a, a defense is defend their own self. And the only way they can do it now is just to ask Congress for safety. What about those 20 people outside? We hear and we know already that people just walk in got their kids and walked out. The part of this, it was even a woman. Got more cojones than the rest of the police that were outstanding outside. It, it's incredible how they really screw this one up. Now I understand my dad, even though he's not around, but I'm proud that he did what he did to keep me out of that uh, dream because 
they screwing that dream for many others to come. Being so inept. And if you're on TV and you uh, have a platform or a show, please, please, dia dia, if you want to say something, at least know the history. When UK, they were in America, they got the weapons, they did the constitution. The first thing they left in there was the gun as a right. Not just for show, like you guys were doing on the show. Oh, you know, showing all the weapons and all show off, whatever. It's not a macho thing. It's for if a tyrannical government come try to take your liberty away, you defend against a tyrannical government. That's why the government is always in check because the people, we the people have the arms. Thank you so much. Now you can like this and share with your friends and family. I'll see you back tomorrow from Palma Sola, Villalba, Puerto Rico. Your host, Efraín Rodríguez Jr. in Efraín Rodríguez Jr. Show. Peace.